welcome to technical rugby this video we are going to discuss about in blue prism what is business object library and the second thing is dynamic process execution there is two things we have to learn so first thing is what is business object library suppose you are starting your development now you are going to check what are all the objects business objects or bbos you are going to use for your process so that particular business object name so what are the actions you are going to use launch or attach or exit so what is the input for the for your business object suppose that is excel so what is the input what is the output suppose you are completed your process of the particular business object what is the output and how and which version it would be used these five options has to be included in business object library and the second thing is which means reusability so what is the if you are using business object so what is the reusability of your particular action and input output everything will contain on it including version so reusability is suppose you are your business object has we can create every business objects with reusability suppose if the particular business object suppose you are you are having cell index getting cell index the same cell index we can use for excel and csv that type of reusability we can have so in that case business object library always added with reusability if you are not reusing then probably that object library has to be defined differently so this is the way you have to mention your libraries uh, yeah the second thing is what is the dynamic process execution suppose see dynamic process execution is nothing it's all about scheduling suppose you are the scheduling with different techniques suppose you are your client has some different environment and your client is using some third party scheduler they don't want to use your blue prism or aa or uipath schedulers because your client has some service level agreements or else your client has already used some other schedulers they don't want to use your scheduler with the license or resource constraint some of the issues so in that case the dynamic process execution will come into the picture in that case how the process will be execution the first thing is scheduler your blue prism or a scheduler has client has not accepted the probably the their scheduler has to be linked up with our bp scheduler there is two things one thing is we can use the command line interface using automate c.exe and uh, second thing is sub process scheduling that is the different methodology we can we can see in next video see the, this dynamic process execution will come into the picture only your client does not want to use your process scheduler like blue prism scheduler if you are using blue prism they have scheduler if they don't want to use then dynamic process execution will come into the process into the picture and you have to link up with their scheduler with your process thanks guys thanks for watching this we can see some other ideas in our next video